In Affinity Designer 2.2, you can now use duplications via this panel to create all kinds of different designs. So how to do this? Go to the Tools panel and create a shape. I'm just going to go with Diamond, but it could be anything. Make certain you select the Move tool, and you'll notice I've got a little crosshair. How to display that? Just go up here, and this is Enable Transform Origin. You can move that origin maybe somewhere like here. So you can put it here. So any transform will be around this point. Then just press return on the keyboard. You'll see this panel, move slash duplicate. You've got options for horizontal. So you can go and enter say 50 and it will move. You can also duplicate. So just click there and you can turn around and say, I want 12. So 12 will be created of that shape. You can also set it back to zero. So I'm just going to set it back to zero and I'm going to put rotation 20. This time you can see it's rotated around this point. And you can also change the number of copies. So I'm just going to increase it to 17 to create a circular design very quickly. Once you're happy with that, click OK. And there you've got your design. Well, what you can also do is you can go to layers and you can select all of those diamonds and you can do the same with all of the different shapes. So select them all. Go to the diamond tool over here. Make certain you select that. And as along, along here, you've got the control bar, you've got midpoint, and you can change that for all of those shapes. And you can tweak it in all kinds of ways. You can also use the pen tool. So create a design, so just a very basic design, something like that. And you can apply this move slash duplicate to this as well. So again, go to the move tool. And again, you've got this crosshair, just move it up here. So just reposition, you can position anywhere. Doesn't have to be just above. So once you've done that, press turn. And then just do the same. So again here, you can put the value, say 10. So 10, make certain you turn duplicate on and you can see a new path has been generated. And then you can click here and it will create very rapidly a circular design like that. And then click OK. You can also use symbols. So I'm just going to again go with the diamond tool. So diamond tool, create that. Then go to the symbols panel. So the symbols panel, you can find that in the window menu and click create. So now it's been turned into a symbol. Go to layers and you can see there symbol. You can expand it out. Well, exactly the same as before. Again, make certain this is on. Move tool is selected and you can reposition that. So I'm just going to put it above. You could put it anywhere, maybe there. Don't have to put it above. Press the turn and now I can modify that symbol. And I can put 20 or any value. Duplicate and I can duplicate that. And you can see then you create this design. And then click OK. Well, because it's a symbol, you can expand out. So expand, you've got the diamond there. And the diamond you can modify. So I'm just going to go here and I can change the diamond. And as you do that, you'll notice that all the designs change. So it's a very quick way of creating all kinds of unique designs. And you can, of course, recolor it also. Click there, maybe go for purple or green, etc. You can also do this with placed images as well. So with this placed image, simply reposition the origin point again, hit just here. Then again, move tool and press turn. And again, you can set say 45 and go for duplicate and then increase that and that will be duplicated as well. And click OK. You can also do it with objects filled with gradients. So just create a design such as a circle or an ellipse. Then go to the gradient tool and then apply a gradient. You can go to the swatches, select one of those, so gradient, and just going to go with that one. With that, again, go to the move tool, then position that up there or anywhere. Press the turn, and again, enter, say, 20 in the rotate, or use any of the other settings. You don't have to set those, just that one. And go here to duplicate, and again, increase that. Now you notice you have to tab off it. If you don't do that, nothing will happen. And you can see then you generate that design very quickly and click OK. There's many other things you can do with this feature. I'll be going through those in other videos in the next couple of weeks. 
If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Also, please subscribe to the channel, always adding new tutorials about designer, photo and others. Bye.